and I got a lot of questions. It's the first date. I'm Dee's. Like, how do you manage your acne? Oh God, I am not in a relationship. Hey everybody. I feel like right now I'm in my like living my best life era. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine if you're new and today I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me. I'm actually getting ready for a date today. It's the first date, so I'm really nervous. We also meet, oh, I'm with my cousin Stella. Say hey. Hi. And we went to Sephora today and we picked up like a bunch of new products. So I'm gonna be trying out the House Labs Foundation. Oh, that's it. And like, <laughs> <laughs> of camo concealer. I thought we picked up like we did pick up other shit like it picked up a beauty blender But it's just a re-up. I got this like pureology hair. Okay, none of this matters Anyways, basically I'm gonna be filming a get ready and I'm gonna be answering a bunch of your questions So I went on Instagram the other day and asked you guys to ask me some and I got a lot of questions So I'm gonna do my makeup today. Yeah, let's just get right into it You guys asked me some very juicy questions, so yeah, I'm gonna try to answer all your questions. I saw the Summer Friday lip balm today, and it's so good. What do you rate it? A 10. A 10 out of 10? I, I like the vanilla flavor. I'm kind of glad you got the vanilla now. It feels like a butterball. And it lasts so long. Like, I, I don't even remember the last time I applied it. Um, Kat Von D sent me PR. Like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. But they're, they sent me their primer, and guys, this is called their Pore Refining Primer. I have never had my makeup look so good at the end of the night until I started using this. And like, I used to use the Elf um, Power Grip and I also used to use the Milk Hydro Grip and I actually think this one's better than both. Today I'm gonna layer both because I remember one day I did that last week and my makeup looked really good as well. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, what should we do for the first question? Okay, so like, basically, obviously I have a lot of competing priorities in my life right now, like specifically right now. So I try to prioritize things first before anything. I'm a master's student. My student life, like homework and all that has to come before anything. Then I would say is my full-time office job. Office job because I just got like a permanent position there. You know, I'm getting benefits in my field of study as well. So then I would say is my job at the hospital. It's a part-time job. Um, so that's why it's like third place. And like, I don't, I'm casual there. Like I don't work as often. So it's not like that big of a piece on my plate. And then I would say is Cabana. Cause Cabana is just like fun, you know? Like I get to do my makeup. I get to like do my hair and everything. I get ready, I go. I just, like my job is really simple there. It's not like I have to think a lot. Like, and then last would be like the gym. But the gym is like kind of like the thing that keeps everything together. Like the gym gives me, um, like sanity like if I'm stressed I'll go to the gym or like if I feel if I feel really overwhelmed sometimes I'll go to the gym I don't look at the gym as like a, a, a priority I kind of do it more like an escape Anyways, it's just so pretty I got it in the shade to 280 yeah. yeah we went through war trying to find like the right shade like I, um, I was like the coverage on it was so good guys like I was almost gonna buy the wrong shade and just like make it work with my concealer but then we found um, like my right shade so I'm very happy about that I would also say to refer to like one of my earlier videos where I have like how I balance work life and school because I in depth explained everything in there but what I will say right now is like you definitely need an agenda Blah. you definitely need an agenda you need to know how to like manage your time. Like this summer specifically has been really, really, really busy for me. Like working full time, content creating, working at Cabana on the weekends, like Cabana and the hospital part time. Like, and like I'm, I'm in classes still and they're compressed courses too. So in my agenda, I literally have every day planned to a T, like almost hourly as to like what I'm doing and stuff. So having an agenda has literally saved my life. I have two agendas, one for like my life and one for content creating as well. So it gets really like complicated. I get a lot of questions about how I stay so motivated and I don't think it's motivation anymore at this point. Like definitely in the beginning, like I needed like motivation and stuff, but I would say more so now. Oh look, this is so like new beauty blender and new foundation. <laughs> like, um, I would say it's discipline more than anything at this point. Like you kind of just have to keep yourself disciplined and you kind of have to just know what you want so that you're working towards like an outcome. Why does this feel like it looks so light on me, Sela? Show me. No, 
that is your perfect shade. Oh, on camera it looks so light. No, it's like it's the perfect shade. Wow, guys, you see, you hear, you're hearing it from her, okay? I'm not crazy. Whoa, it looks really light. Stella, look at this. Okay, yeah, no, it doesn't look like that in person. Okay. Look in the mirror or something? No, I'm looking in my mirror and it doesn't look like that right here, but I'm gonna, like, cream contour. You have to have, like, purpose with what you're doing. Like, I don't, like, aimlessly do anything in my life, you know what I mean? Like, my time is, like, more valuable than money. This is so light, oh my gosh. I need to I cream contour. Yeah, I think it's the light. Cause I have like two lights. Lighting's not gonna be like that in the restaurant. That's true, actually. I'm going to um, what is it called again? Amaretto. Yeah, it's a really nice restaurant. I've never been there. It's Italian though. I love Italian, so it should be good. Okay, what's the? N oh wait, do I have anything else to say? Okay, yeah. I was gonna say everything I choose to do in life. Like everything I choose to do on a daily basis has purpose, whether it's like a long-term goal or a short-term goal. So I see value in it. You know what I mean? Like it's like I'm not like aimlessly. Even though like my life is like really, 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 really busy. Like I don't hate it. Like I actually really enjoy my life. Like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think people think I hate my life because I'm like so busy. I, love to be busy all the time. I don't know. I feel like some people think I'm like depressed or something. I'm like no, guys. Like I'm happy. I swear. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel, almost also feel like I have like ADHD, so... Who knows? So were you just like being productive? Yeah. I think that's also because I'm a Capricorn, so... It's like inevitable. Next question. Gym routine. See it again? Okay. Right now at the gym, I focus a lot on legs, I'm not gonna lie. Like, basically, most of my... Like, two, out of, two days out of the week, I will be working on legs. I don't really work out my arms as much because now I'm doing Pilates. Um, I've also been doing those Body by Chosen workouts and that's a bit of arms. I mean, it's all full body actually, but um, okay, good. This is bringing some warmth back. Oh, oh, Cabana, my bottle service job. Like, I feel like that's my arm workout, carrying the bottle up and down. Like, it, guys, look at my biceps. Like, do you not see them? They're coming in. Whoa. Fam, Jeez. I'm Dee's. Like, this is all from carrying bottles and Pilates. Like, I go to the gym, I go to the, go on the treadmill, run, walk for like five to 10 minutes, sometimes 15, 20, just whatever I feel like that day. And then I go and I'll do a bunch of machines, like leg machines, like hack squats, um, leg press, hip thrusts, kickbacks, squats. Like sometimes I'll do free weights and do Bulgarian split squats, um, lunges, step up stuff like that and then i always go on the stairmaster after for at least 20 minutes either 20 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes i haven't hit an hour yet but honestly it's one of my goals so honestly usually just put Aaliyah's face on and by the time the video is over you know i've done 45 minutes so it's great foundation itself has really really good coverage it's just i have a lot of problems. third question weight loss tips okay this kind of like ties into like the last question so um, basically, I didn't, like, intentionally, like, I always, when I was younger, I was, like, a lot heavier. I was almost, like, I think 150 pounds for a while in high school and stuff. Not a while, like, all of high school, I was, like, that heavy. And then, um, when I started university is when I lost weight. And it was, it wasn't intentional. Like, I always wanted to lose weight, but I was just in, like, a really bad relationship. And, like, it just wasn't doing me well, you know? Um... And I just wasn't eating enough. I was just depressed all the time. I like I was spending all my money on dumb shit. This looks really light. No, it's not good. I'm just gonna put like the littlest amount. Whoa, the coverage though. Is that the concealer? Yeah, the camo concealer. I've never used it before. Maybe I'll sponsor you now. Yeah, can they? <laughs> yeah, that's how I lost weight basically. And then after that, after I got out of that relationship, like COVID started and everything. Um, so I was just, I don't know, I was just in the house, I wasn't really going out, I wasn't eating fast food that much, so I didn't really gain the weight back. I think my eating habits had also changed, because I was in that relationship for like two years, like, so I think it kind of like, you know, long term more had an effect on me. And then, um, I started going to the gym in February of 2022, and yeah, ever since then I've been going to the gym, and it just like, like I said, it just gives me some sanity. I just, I feel like at the gym, I'm in control, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not at, 
like I don't know I feel like in life you just feel like you're not in control of so many things and like at least at the gym I can be in control of this like next question how tall are you oh everyone that's like the first thing everyone says when they meet me like everyone thinks I'm like five six or something <laughs> I'm literally five foot guys like five foot like 153 centimeters that's what my driver's license says next question what's your I am Sri Lankan. Like my mom and dad were both born in Sri Lanka. I'm not mixed with anything. And I was born in Canada. What about life after university? Life after university is good. It's it's good because like you finally have a little bit of freedom. But it's also like it it's just a lot of I mean personally that's how I felt. I felt like especially from family, it's like so are you a doctor now? Like you graduated university, so you're a doctor, right? And it's like, ugh, I wish it was that easy. Like catch me in another like five, 10 years. Maybe I can say that. But it's also a lot more fun because like, you know yourself a lot more. Like you, just going through university is such a learning experience. Just learning about yourself, I find. You learn so much about yourself and like what you like and don't like and like what you'll put up with and like not put up with. and. It's, I think it's a necessary experience, honestly. It depends on what stage you're at, I guess, once you've graduated. I guess everyone's experience would be different, but that's how it was for me, I guess. <laughs> how do you manage your acne? Oh, God. Um, see, right now, I'm kind of flaring up again. Like, in the last couple of weeks, I've been breaking out. I don't know if it's because I've been eating a lot of chocolate and sweets, or if it's because I started using that Charlotte Tilbury skincare routine. I'm not saying Charlotte Tilbury broke me out, but I find when I put a lot of new products on my skin at once, my skin gets really overwhelmed. And I kind of like introduce that routine into my skin really quickly. So kind of mad at myself about that. But yeah, I also just like started my period. So maybe it has to do with that too. Down again. I was doing my micro needling sessions with Helen. And I just had a facial with her, I think two weeks ago. Almost a week ago now. And that helped a lot. It really calmed down my skin. Like, it was more textured and irritated than this. And I actually didn't want to film the get ready with me. Like, that's how bad it was. Um, so that's why I postponed it. But yeah, now I'm just kind of like, fuck it. Like, you know, you can't keep waiting until your skin is clear. So just work with what you got. But yeah, how do I manage it? It just, I just, I actually don't give a fuck. Like when I go to work and like the gym and shit like that, I do not even cover it up anymore. I used to care like a lot about it, but now I'm just like, it doesn't make sense for me to cover up my acne before going to the gym because I sweat and I also go in the sauna so it's just not good for my skin. Then when I go to work, like at the office, I don't want to wear makeup because I wear makeup on the weekends at Cabana for like 12 hours at a time in the sun. So that's like a lot on my skin. So when I go to the office, I don't, oh my God, Luna's here. Yeah. Luna, are you biting on the door? You want to say hi to everybody? Hey everybody. What you mean like more times people will come up to me like especially when I'm meeting someone new and they're like They're like hey like you know have small talk and they're like have you tried this skincare product and it's like Yes, bro. like more times I've tried every freaking product you're naming. I've tried everything like I don't know I also get asked a lot why I don't go on Accutane and honestly guys I just don't have a commitment like I just am praying it, my acne goes away before I need to go on Accutane, but if I do it, it'll be in the winter time for sure. I don't want to do it in the summer because, like, I want to wear makeup in the summer and I work at Cabana, so it just doesn't work out well, but maybe in the winter, if it continues on like this, I might consider it. No, Luna! She always eats that plant. It's not even real. She's hot. Oh, I haven't read a book since like, yeah. like Christmas break because literally I have like a, a reading for my master's program every week due and I have to write like some write up on it. So the only time I have, only things I have time to read are my readings for school. Do your parents hate that you smoke? Oh, um, I think they're used to it now. Like I, I definitely at a time like they hated it, but they see that it doesn't impede anything in my life. Like as you can see, I'm a very productive person. And I think of smoking more like a reward. So like, you know, I'll do my things for the day and then I'll come home and smoke a split and I'm like, happy. <laughs> like, I don't know. 
I don't really, yeah, but they're pretty chill about it. Like, at first I used to hate it. Now we're at a point where, like, we ball up in the garage, me and my brother, and like they've built a little like lounge for us with like couches and like a TV. So I don't know how we did it, but we transformed their opinion over like the last five years. I think they just saw that it obviously wasn't stopping anytime soon because I've been smoking now since I was like 18 and I'm 24 now. So yeah. I also get asked if that's why my voice is so raspy. I promise you guys, my voice was raspy before I started smoking. Like, Literally, no one like believes me when I say that, but I swear it was. Um, like, yeah, my daddy used to say I used to have Ronnie McCurdy's voice. If you guys watch Wallaby movies, you know who that is. How do you deal with brown parents? Um, my parents. I'm not gonna lie. My parents are quite modernized. They both came to Canada when they were in their like, I think they were 18. Not really like super strict. Like, if I talk to them and tell them like. If I reason with them, you know, they'll see things from my side. Like, they're not terrible, honestly. I, I can't complain. <laughs> How are you going to draw with Korea? Okay. I literally went through the whole, like, interview process. Like, they, I saw that they were doing open call interviews back in April, I believe. And, um, my friend wanted to go. And I was like, okay, you know what? Why not? Like, I really didn't even think I was going to get the job. I was like honestly going for shits and googles and we were gonna go out for dinner that night so i was like you know what we'll just go to this interview and then go to dinner like i don't care so yeah it was like five of us we all went to the interview and then i got a second interview when we were at that interview and yeah they didn't tell me i got the job after that but they said they would let me know via email in the next week or two i didn't even think anything of it after that like i didn't i Personally, I didn't think the interview went, interview went that well. Even though I got the second interview, I just felt like, like, I don't know if I did good enough on the second interview. Um, but I don't know, I guess I did, because when I got an email and they said, you're, in you're invited for like the second round of interviews, like where like, you know, only the ones that were emailed can come to. So I went to that set of interviews and it was like, it was basically like an orientation. So I was like, Okay, so we got the job, question mark. And then after that, they sent an email and said he got the job. So I was like, okay, got the job. And and then I started working. Like, I went, like, literally, like, from scratch. Obviously, when I was talking about, you know, why you should hire me and stuff, I tried to bring up my social media a bit and, like, like TikTok and stuff like that. I don't know if that kind of helped. I mean, probably it did um, with getting hired, but... I didn't do anything special other than that, I don't think. Are you in a relationship? No, I am not in a relationship, guys. Like, I got like six of these questions. I am not in a relationship. Um, am I dating? Clearly, like, I'm getting ready for a date right now. <laughs> like, I'm not like, obviously searching, but, you know, I'm 24, like, my friends are starting my bitch, what the fuck is up? Like, we trying to, we trying to, you know, see you get married. I'm like, yeah, it's coming. When I find someone that's not a dumbass, because like all these men in Toronto are just like wasting my fucking time. But like, I don't know, maybe, like, I actually have a lot of hope for tonight, so we'll see. Like, we will see how it goes. Do you have any dating tips or anything related to love life or advice? Um, dating tips. I, dating tips, I would say, like, Guys, I have no tips. Do you see my situation? I'm like fucking single. Like, like what, what am I supposed to say? Um, wait till they DM me on Instagram. Like, I can't shoot my shot at a guy. Like, it's just not in my blood. So I'll just like, you know, manifest it from here. Girl advice. Girl advice, do your thing. And like, if he comes, he comes. Like, don't stress about it, honestly. I feel like right now I'm in my like, living my best life era and Yeah, just have fun with it. Like, I haven't gone on a date in a while, actually. Like, since, like, October. <sighs> like, I'm not the one you want to get advice from, guys. Like, the last guy I talked to was literally wasting my time. So, like, there's that. Like... <laughs> Where'd you get your lips done and for how much? I got my lips done at Beauty Bar by Nurse Anna. And the first time I got them done was at the Yorkville location. Second time, I think... Yeah, you were there. Yeah. 
And the second time was at the Don Mills location. There's actually a video up on my YouTube channel of me getting my lips done. If you want to see that, it's one of like my first videos. I think it's a blonde belly art video. Okay, the makeup is coming together. I'm still like very like unnerved about the face and the body thing. Like the contour is helping, but like I don't know if it's helping or not. Okay. Details on all makeup products. I feel like that's gonna take hours. I could do it like, I'll do what I just used right now. Yeah. So I told you Kat Von D, that primer. I also used the Elf Power Grip with that. Then we did the House Labs Foundation in shade 280. I did Dior Concealer in the shade 4N or 7N. It's, the, the thing is off. I was using Elf Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. Charlotte Tilbury Wand in the deepest shade. Set with Huda Beauty in Banana Bread. One Size Powder in Medium Dark 6 Go. Contoured with um, One Size Dark Trio. It's a really, really nice contour palette and they're all like really matte shades with different undertones, so I highly recommend. Dior Blush in the shade Pink. Anastasia Brow Pen in the shade Granite. Dior, this little quad palette to do my inner corner highlight. Oh, but Essence, you know that Essence brand from Shoppers? They sent me a bunch of like, liners. Hair. Yeah. It's a white one? It's white, but it's, look, it's sparkly. So I feel like if I put it in my inner corner, it'll be really pretty, you know? Yeah. Like my not eyes naturally sparkle or something. But they don't, it's a Essence eyeliner. <laughs> look at that, can you see the difference? That's so cute. It's so cute. You know your mom is the one who taught me this trick? I remember being in the limo, going to your mom's wedding, and your mom telling your mom telling me the makeup artist that did her makeup that day taught her to put like a lighter shimmery shade in your inner corner of your eye, like whenever like you do your makeup, because it just opens up your eye, you know. You notice on TikTok, if you put like um, you know the color your other like opposite colors. Yeah. Since you have like Yeah, I've seen it with purple too for brown eyes. Maybe I should do it because I think I have purple here. For a first date? Yeah, that's true. Maybe he's gonna be like, why? Why, why are your eyes purple? Yeah, like why are your eyes purple, bitch? Because I wanted you to see the pop of brown. Duh, like. This has been my new obsession, like on my lips. I don't even use lip liner, I just use this now. like focus on yourself I mean you have no choice at that point but you know what I mean uh, and then like do things that make you happy you know reconnect with things that you kind of forgot like for me like when I was younger I used to play soccer all the time like I was playing soccer till like high school and then I used to play piano since I was like four years old and like nowadays when I find myself really lost and I go and kind of do those activities I just feel more at peace and I just don't feel as stressed and like almost like coping mechanisms but just not losing yourself in a relationship as well you know like go back to things that like you know make you you <laughs> also keep busy it doesn't mean getting three jobs like me and like working non-stop but like you know go to the gym self-improvement like take time for yourself go on walks like just like Spend time with yourself. Breakup advice is pretty bad because I haven't like broken, I haven't been on, like, I haven't had a breakup since like 2021. So I'm a little out of practice. I haven't been in a relationship since then either. So, like, yeah. it burns, friend. That's what I'm saying. I think it's because it's brand new. It's brand new. I think that's why. Like, it's really bad. Okay, this side of my hair does not look good, but this side does. Okay, the feeling is starting to pass. Oh, I'm almost calling you. I think that completes this video today. Um, please disregard how light my makeup looks in like relation to my body, but it doesn't look like this in person, okay? Like, let me see if I go yellow, if it'll like be more accurate. It just looks really light, Stella. I don't know, guys. Hopefully my pictures come out good tonight. I'm gonna look like a bad bitch. I'm gonna make a big picture. I don't give a fuck. The back. My tongue's coming off. Right? Oh Fam, it's so bad. It's because you told me to get the hot pink one too. Like, do you see the, the spit coming out of my mouth? Because it's actually like on fire. 
Anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. We're gonna go. Thank you for asking all these questions. And let me know what video you guys wanna see next. Love you.